Hello my dear friends, welcome to Recycle Bin Tech channel. Today we are going to see blue screen error and the error is 10 sorry uh, IO1 initialization failed. In this we are going to see how to solve this error and while we restart time we can see like uh, this option diagnosing PZ and attempting to repair like this so there is many method many method means two three methods it's uh, to solve this issue and whatever it is you have to be here because in this I will show you some uh, steps to solve in this we can see uh, advanced option in this advanced option we can see troubleshoot option in this troubleshoot this reset this PZ in this reset the PZ there is 50 uh, 50 means you can reset this one by keeping your data inside and the second option you can install the clean installation without uh, keeping any files the first option is you can keep the files and data in your system and you can reset the operating system that is the first option second option and in this while you select this option you can you will get a cloud installation and local installation select the local installation and it will get a reset it will take uh, nearly maybe one hour maybe half an hour maybe two hour it's depend upon the hard disks uh, the data which is available inside and the next option is advanced option in this option today I am going to tell you like a one step and we'll see the next step on the I will upload the another video in this we are going to see the first uh, for one option through the command before that you can insert the uh, flash which is made as an uh, bootable Windows which uh, which you have installed in the system means Windows 7 means you have to insert the Windows 7 flash or Windows 7 CD if it's Windows 8 if you can insert Windows 8 if it's Windows 10 and Windows 11 means whatever it is which operating system is installed in this system you can ins insert the flash or CD drive as uh, CD on the system and you can start for repair and the startup settings in this we are not going to do here anything and if you find some error on the uh, while you install the updates automatic updates and it's going getting the blue screen means you can come here and uninstall the updates you can see uninstall latest quality update and uninstall later latest future update both in this you can choose any one if you find the blue screen regarding the uh, update and we'll come back and this the next option this is the very good option and uh, I'm suggesting you while whatever the software you install means application software today I am going to install an application software and if you find that 50-50 uh, maybe it's work or it's not working means before installing the uh, uh, application software create and restore point in your system or if you install a newly operating system and you have installed all the basic software and important software everything is finished and it's working good you after restarting the system just create and restore point for on that day that will be better and hundred and hundred percentage safe for your system if you find any uh, installation problem and uh, while you cannot repair this is the best solution you can go for restore point you can select the date and give just re, uh, restore and relax for some time the system will be working fine and good it will be the best option now we are going to see the option command prompt let, let us select the option command prompt 
in this command prompt if you create any username it will show if you given any password it will uh, show like this you can enter the password and after that you can give continue and you will find in this uh, like this in this we can check the hard disk storage and how many volumes we make and etc for that you can type here disk part and it hender if you do so it will come like this after that you can type list disk so you can see here and uh, 223 GB it's an uh, hard disk which is installed on the system and uh, disk one no media and just type list volume and you can find here and uh, NTFS partition volume 0 and 1 and 2 like this and just simply type directory and uh, you will find uh, many things over here and after all those making now let me exit this option and I now I will type here one command just follow that command you can type the command like B C D E D I T edit space slash set use P L A T F O R M use platform clock use platform clock space T R U E true it hinder after this finishing now type S F C space S C A N scan N O W and it enter sorry just it one more time enter you can find because I have run already the verification you can see here verify file C Windows system 32 kernel DL and uh, here of boot directory and win directory there is and like some issues otherwise while you run this one you can find automatically the file is running you have to wait for some time to complete the procedure after that we can restart the system maximum 90 percentage your system will be fixed the other option you can just type C H K D S K space C colon slash F you can see the stage one it's running it will take nearly five stages to complete the procedure for scanning our hard disk means check disk means it mostly mostly 90 percentage as I said before it will fix the error if any disk fragment any issue anything in their hard disk it will fix by this command you can follow this command you have to wait till to complete this uh, five stages now it's completed the five uh, stages stage three no uh, it's not completed like five stages actually it must complete the five stages the window scan has filed and uh, found no problems no further action required like this it's coming and after that you can restart your system and it will be working fine good if not and another video I have I have been uploading soon so you can follow that command so better to follow these type commands and everything after that last last option it must be the formatting before that try all these steps if you like the video please subscribe and support thank you for watching
we'll see you on the next video bye bye see you